When I'm testing a piece of tech for a review, it's rare that I'm shocked and impressed immediately after using it, but that's exactly what happened with the Bose QuietComfort Ultra. And if you're looking for a pair of premium wireless earbuds, even if you're using something as recent as the QuietComfort 2, then you're gonna wanna hear about these. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter with my review of the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra. But first, if you're not already, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, and let's get started. Don't let the name confuse you. The Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra are the next generation in the Bose Quiet Comfort line. Bose could have called these the Quiet Comfort 3, but quote, Ultra grabs your attention and hints at a big change under the hood because the hardware, at least on the outside, is nearly identical. The Bose QC Ultra come in the same small case as the QC2. In fact, side by side, it's hard to tell the difference, except on the QC Ultra, the black Bose logo is printed in a reflective silver rather than the solid black of the QC2. In addition to the black, the QC Ultra also come in moonstone blue and white smoke as well. There's the same indicator light on the front that flashes a variety of orange to white depending on how much charge the case has left, and around the back, a reset slash Bluetooth connect button. The Bose QC wireless charge over USB-C, there is no wireless charging in the standard case, although for about $50 more, you can opt for the slightly bigger wireless charging case. I like having wireless charging as an option, but if it means that the case is going to get bigger, I'm happy to live without it because the case is pretty small, and if you travel frequently and are going to be throwing these in your pocket a lot, then you probably too are not going to mind the lack of wireless charging here. The case holds about 18 hours of battery life and the earbuds hold about 6, so that's enough for a very long set of flights or at least to get you through the day. Inside the case, again, if you're familiar with the QC2, a lot of the same. An indicator light giving you an idea of the charge level of the earbuds themselves, like I said, about 6 hours or 4 to 5 if you're using noise cancellation or immersive audio, then the earbuds themselves. Bose have kept the same pill shape here but with a silver accent on the outward facing side. The fit remains comfortable with a rubber band around the exterior to help form a seal and these soft ear tips. Depending on the size and specific shape of your ears, you can also try some of the different shaped ear tips that the Ultra come with. I find the QC Ultra like the QC2 to be comfortable, enough to wear for about 5 hours without discomfort. These are light earbuds weighing 7.7 grams each and the case, if you were wondering, is just under 60 grams. So far, a lot of the same as the QC2. Bose didn't change much about the case or the shape of the earbuds, except for a slight difference in the shape of the stability bands that go around the earbuds. So the Ultra do give you a little bit better of a seal and a little bit better of a fit than the QC2. But aside from that and a couple of different color changes, if this review stopped here, you wouldn't think there's any reason to get the Ultra over the QC2 and you would be totally right. The Bose Ultra also charge slower than the QC2, whereas the QC2 takes about 70 minutes to charge full, the Ultra take about 100 to 120 minutes. So you're probably wondering what the heck is up with the Bose Ultra. Well, there is a major difference, although it doesn't sound like it, there is a major difference here and it's one feature and that is immersive audio. Now that might not sound like it until you hear it. Bose have upgraded the internals of the QC Ultra with some additional chips alongside the Qualcomm 5 that is also used in the QC2. The QC Ultra now support the latest version of AptX code which gives you better streaming quality and even lower latency than previous versions, that is of course if your streaming device supports it. No matter what audio codec you're using though, the QC Ultra sounds sharper to me with Meteor based than the QC2 and there is a lot of nuance in this crisp audio. Audio files, I think you're going to be very happy with the sound that are coming out of these earbuds. But the biggest internal change with the Bose Ultra is an IMU chip, which adds a gyroscope and a accelerometer, which allows the Ultra to track your head movements and enables immersive audio. When you're setting up the QC Ultra, it's best to download the Bose Music app. It's not the most useful or user-friendly, but it helps you set up the first connection to your earbuds, keep you up to date with the latest firmware, and configure any custom tapping gestures. By default, swiping up and down on the earbuds will increase or decrease the volume and a single tap toggles between pause and play, two taps skips a track, and three goes back a song. Then there is a long press which toggles between aware mode where the microphones in the earbuds funnel sound from the outside so you can hear what's going on around you. There's also active cancellation mode and immersive audio mode. Starting with aware mode, it works well and is useful for when you're at an airport or on the subway or walking outside and need to hear what's going on around you. I feel like in aware mode and ANC, Bose have refined the sound profile to really lower the white noise background that was present at times when using the QC2. 
The ANC mode is excellent in the Ultra and does a great job of shutting out sounds from the outside world. If you fly frequently, the Ultra get rid of jet engine noise, crying babies, or just turn any cafe or room in your home into a quiet library. Of all the earbuds I've tested with active noise cancellation, the Bose Ultra are the best, both in terms of how much it's able to cut out noise and sound from the outside, but also how good it makes what you're listening to sound. It does reduce battery life a little bit, although I'm still getting close to six hours, so it's not a real big hit, at least in my experience with these earbuds. By the spec sheet, it drops it down to about five hours, although, like I said, I'm getting more battery life with my experience using these earbuds. And you can go into the app and you can adjust noise cancellation if you want, but when the noise cancellation is turned all the way up, even just snapping your fingers sounds like a distant, faint sound. The active noise cancellation is really good. But the shock, the shock I experienced is when I toggled through aware mode, I got to ANC, and then I did another long press and I got into immersive audio mode. In its default state, immersive audio activates active noise cancellation and adds several layers to your listening experience. Immersive audio is a bit tough to describe, but it's like the difference between listening to an orchestra on good speakers versus being in the concert hall yourself. Using its new motion tracking capabilities, the QC Ultra adjusts the sound based on where your head is positioned. Look to the right, and it seems as though the source of the music is shifting. And because of all of these shifts, which happen in real time, it feels as though what you're listening to, and in the case of music especially, is coming from all around you. When I was first testing the QC Ultra and I had it connected to my laptop, I couldn't tell if the earbuds were actually working. The sound was so realistic. I thought the music I was listening to was playing from my laptop itself and not the earbuds. Then after I verified I was listening to the earbuds, I thought my phone wasn't working because I tried to play something from here. I didn't have my earbuds connected, but I could not hear the music coming from my phone speakers. The active noise cancellation of the Ultra are just that good. There are two immersive modes you can switch between through the Bose app, Still and Motion. Still is supposed to be used when you're in one place, like sitting at a desk, but even then I find it a bit jarring. I prefer to leave the motion setting on all the time, but I have to say it's really fun when walking and just looking around. It's a very unique listening experience. The small steps Bose have made with the QC Ultra in the sound quality and the ANC are really deceptive. They're not really apparent, but compared to the QC2, it is a big difference, especially if you care, if you're an audiophile, you care really about what the sound quality is from your earbuds and your headphones, then it's a pretty significant difference. Add on top of that immersive audio, and these earbuds have me convinced. As you can probably tell by now, I really like these earbuds, but there are a few things that could make them better. The first is battery life. Immersive mode cuts it down to about four hours, which means on a long flight, you're in for at least one charge of about 10 to 15 minutes to get you through, so there are gonna be times when you aren't enjoying the ANC or able to listen to your earbuds. There's also no multi-point support, which drives me a bit crazy sometimes. Sometimes I wanna connect the QC Ultra to my phone, but if I then wanna switch to my laptop, I have to go into the Bose Music app, disconnect my phone, and then connect them to my laptop, which is a pain. And sometimes the Ultra will automatically connect to my laptop in my bag when I first take them out, and then I have to go through that process to connect them to my phone. So yeah, it's not ideal. Otherwise, if you're looking for a pair of premium wireless earbuds, then I think the Bose Ultra are a solid choice. Now, because the Ultra have taken the place of the QC2 in Bose's lineup, the QC2 are now on sale for about 15 to 30% less. I would say this, if you're trying to decide between those two pair of earbuds, if you care about active noise cancellation and sound quality, frequent flyers I'm looking at you, then you probably want to go with the Bose Ultra. For those of you already using the QC2, I think the Bose Ultra make a good upgrade. It's more of a nice to have recommendation rather than a must have recommendation. But especially if you can sell your QC2, for example, then I think you'll be really impressed with what the Ultra have to offer. For those of you in the upgrade camp, also keep in mind that the next version of these earbuds might include multi-point. We still are waiting for multi-point support now. This is our three versions in, but the next version might support that. You might get longer battery life and Bose has seemed to increase the frequency at which they're putting out updates to this quiet comfort line. So you might see another pair of these earbuds in a year or 18 months or so. So if you're already using a pair of premium earbuds, if you're already on the QC2 and you don't really feel like upgrading or you don't want to spend the money on an upgrade, it's also worth considering that the next version might be better and you might just want to skip the Ultra. Lastly, immersive audio like Apple Spatial Audio isn't an important feature consistently for everybody. 
personally for me, I can put up with the lack of multi-point support and the lackluster battery life because I value sound quality and active noise cancellation. You'll find other earbuds with good sound quality, not as good, but good sound quality or ANC, not as good of ANC, but maybe has multi-point support. You'll find earbuds that'll give you some of those extra features that are missing in the Ultra, but they won't have the combination of that sound profile. They won't have the combination of that active noise cancellation. And they also won't include immersive audio in the way that the Ultra do. I didn't think one feature would make that big of a difference, especially since I was mostly happy with the QC2. That is until I put the Bose Ultra in my ears. That's my review of the QC Ultra. Let me know if you have any questions about them down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. And I'll see you in the next video.